this neighborhood is called uh, El Born. And what we are doing here is also about giving a second life to things. I'm from um, Colombia. In Colombia, you can't find on the street all these uh, things that the people throw there, here. When I first came here, I was like, why these people are throwing everything away? These drawers, they are quite versatile. It's quite versatile, but, but it's always kind of the same. So I started to, to use some other elements. This is just a piece of wood from a floor I found on the street. They always uh, use a lot of trash that I found on the street, which is not actually exactly trash, because you can still use, you can still give objects more life. Yeah, you see, you can find this, uh, like these details in a, um, I don't know, or if you, if you build this details, it, it will be fake, you know? These girls, they work with old pallets, they made this, it's like uh, to put the wines and the bottles. It's quite interesting. You can feel there's a kind of a movement of working with recycled things or old objects. It's also a table from pallet wood. You can just open it. It's maybe because of our times. If you're in a desert, you work with what you find. What surrounds you. I don't know, even with this simplicity. Right now, we are overloaded with tons of materials. It's just the reality. It is a hard drive inside from computers. Like they just dismantle the hard drive and put the, like a clock mechanism. We are at a point that there is so much stuff produced, that there's a lot of material. You just need to do something with that. It's uh, just a shower. A shower head? Yeah. Can you recognize what it is? It's a, is it a bicycle? Yeah, it's a bi bicycle wheel. I think it's a phenomenon from the industrialized countries. When you're if the TV is broken, you, it's even more expensive to repair it than uh, buy a new one. This is also using old pallet wood. So, okay, uh, we said let's try with things from the street. It's a good way to find materials because the, these materials are unique. This was an old window I also found in the street, but this was... Um, Okay, what can I do with this? And I just work with the three elements you have here and just let, let's make three, three cubes and project it from front to back. Sometimes it's just about finding solutions for uh, the materials you have. This is from a friend of us. It stays horizontal when the plant has its perfect level of water. When it's dry, it it just it tips up. When it's trying, you just put more water. When you work with uh, recycled things, it put more limits in the design. This is people who are working with old bottles, wine bottles, and they just made uh, glasses from this. Yeah, they just cut the bottles. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to work with new material, but you can give a second life to objects. In the process, they just put shapes from trees from Barcelona. This is where you put the hot thing from the oven. Simple. Yeah. When you're building things, you just realize that there's so much material available. This was this rubber flooring, and it's also quite versatile. Yeah, it sure shows you that you really can recycle anything. I mean, this is just some underflooring, you know? Like yeah. <laughs> this bottle is from a friend, and it was from this uh, pharmacy, which may be 50 years old. You just need to kind of force yourself to have new ideas from what you have. This is just taking an old window and let's build something with this. You, you find a lot of windows. Mm, these windows are not 
not useful anymore as a window, but uh, it is uh, useful as a piece of uh, furniture. I'm not trying to recreate old stuff. It's kind of a mix between old things and new design. I found this, uh, like the old paint and all these details. I kind of find interesting all these irregular. It, it makes it more warm. Sometimes when you work uh, a lot on the materials, this uh, charm they have, it kind of disappears. If you just cut everything straight and you eliminate all these uh, irregularities, it won't be that beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, this was from an old workshop, like wood shop. Mm. They used to put here, you know, like all the small nails and this stuff. When you start to work with old objects, you just discover that back in these days, it had a totally different speed, a different rhythm. These little details, it's just amazing. You just needed more time to make everything. If you make the same object today, you just will take so much long that it will be too, much, too expensive to sell it. Yeah, I'm just building a new one and maybe I can show you how it will be. It's still in the process, but it will be, it will be sort of a drawer tower. <laughs> we are building furniture. Maybe in the same way they used to do it before. More handmade, not so about the industry thing. Uh -huh. The aesthetics were everything like factory made, very perfect, very... Uh, okay, it's maybe more useful sometimes. But with these things, the, these handmade things, it makes uh, kind of interesting all this. And I will put some legs here. It's not for everyone. It's more a type of client because it is not cheap, like cheap as we are used to, because you can buy the equivalent for much less. But it won't be, this is unique. Nobody else can have the same piece. Thank you. Thank you.